Yo, what is up? It is Pete Manzanelli, and today I need to talk about a very, very serious situation. Since the dawn of civilizations, varying communities, regions, countries, powers have fought for control over the world. And most recently, in case you missed it, there was a space race. The United States and the Russians battling back and forth for intergalactic supremacy. And of course, the nuclear arms race. Who could forget the US and the Russians, more recently North Korea in the Middle East, fighting to be leaders in deadly weapons. But today, I need to talk about a more serious global race. And this is something much greater than the moon or nuclear weapons at stake. It's poker. And the Germans have taken over. And they must be stopped. Just this week, we saw the conclusion of the Poker Masturbators events on Poker Go, and the Germans dominated the action all week, and specifically in the 100K final event. Stefan Goose on the Loose Sontheimers took first place, and he's German. Christian, I have the same name twice, Christner, second place, also German. Fedor, my mind is primed, Holtz, third place, you guessed it, German. And this is before even mentioning Stefan, please don't try to pronounce my last name, Shalababals, sixth place, German. They are a machine, okay? They cannot be stopped, and their powers should not be underestimated. When it looked like an American, Seth Davies, would make a run, what did they do? They used German mind control to get him to fold Pocket Kings pre-flop. Who folds Pocket Kings pre-flop? No one, no one, and the Germans got an American to do it. Something fishy is up. And what did they do to celebrate? Well, they decided to politely and quietly eat delicious cookies provided by the Aria. Not only are the Germans taking over our poker, but they're trolling us and taunting us by eating cookies at the table. So where does this leave us? It leaves the rest of the poker world lost, lonely, searching for answers, scared. Someone, anyone needs to rise up to seize the poker crown and dethrone the Germans. So who are the options? Well, there's Philly Helmus, there's Daniel Negranos, two great Amer- Wait, what's that? Oh, my producer says they're too busy arguing on Twitter. Okay, never mind. Let's go back to the drawing board. How about Scott Bloomsteins, the American who took down the World Series of Poker main event, the biggest poker tournament in the world? Wait a second. I'm hearing he's now playing Daily Fantasy Sports. Okay, never mind. Not Bloomsteins. We'll find someone else. I got it, dude. The most famous poker ambassador in the world right now, Kevin Hartz. No? Oh. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, we're going to have to scratch Kevin Hartz off that list too. No, we can find someone. We will find someone to take poker back away from the Germans. How about someone across the pond? How about Will Kasuf? What's that? What's that? Okay, yeah, that would take way too long. Okay, no, yeah, it will, we'll never get to the top if he's taking nine minutes to slow roll someone. Okay, no, no, all right, I got it, I got it. How about the vloggers? Okay, everybody loves these poker vloggers. Surely they can seize the poker crown from the Germans. We got our Andrew Nemes, we got our Brad Owens, we got our poker crowd. Wait, poker crowd's German? My name is Kevin, I'm 39 years old, and I'm from Germany, as you hear from my accent. What the fuck? We can't even... Okay, I got it, I got it. What about Jamie Staples, dude? He's looking spelt, he's taking down pot limit Omaha tournaments, maybe he's our savior. What is that? He's got a girlfriend and he's in love now? So I flew from Calgary and my girlfriend Rebecca, which is the exciting news, she flew from the UK, so she's here. God damn it! Who? We got, there must be someone. I, I just, I'm out of ideas. I just don't know. The Germans, they must be stopped. But wait, wait one second. Wait, what if, it, what if it was a group effort? What if there was a duo that was so smart, so magnetic, so dynamic, positioned on either side of the Germans, one in the Eastern United States, one in Macau, two men 
who know how to crush poker at the highest level and leave a wake of destruction in their path. Now, I hate to be narcissistic, but I fear there's only one option, and that's your boy, Pete Manzanelli, and my dear, dear friend Tommy Dwans are our only hope to fight against the Germans in this race to poker supremacy. Tommy, if you're hearing this, please meet me at the 7-Elevens where we used to get dollar hot dogs and Slurpees. Yeah, that one. It's time we take down the Germans together. Now who's with me?